Hi you guys, it's Beth here and today is January 8th. I am here today to share with you a what I've been warming and this is for January 1st through January 8th. So yeah, I hope that your new year has gotten off to a great start. I know that I haven't been here for a while. Um, yeah, I life has just been crazy and I feel like I can just leave it at that because y'all know everyone is going through stuff all the time and yeah and I just have been focused on other things and you know like not on YouTube as much as I was before which I feel like is probably a good thing because like I needed to get a life outside of YouTube and so that's good um but I am happy to be here with that said and happy to share with you guys what I have been melting um because I have still been melting wax and stuff so I do have two empties this first one is from Southbound Candle Co it's in the scent White Christmas and the scent notes are peppermint, spearmint, cotton candy, and vanilla cream. This scent is so good, y'all. It's so strong and it's so good. It's like very sweet, minty, but it's also very astringent mint. It's like astringent, strong mint, and you can tell that it is but then it's really sweetened up by that cotton candy and vanilla cream and y'all this one is a powerhouse I blended it with the um bath and body works hot fudge sundae candle in the candle crock and uh hot fudge um it's not I don't know what my version of it is called but pretty much it's hot fudge sundae chocolate lava cake and then it was repackaged as something else again at SAS it just is the same scent under different names um yes this scent is so good I would repurchase it it's amazing it is so good um and then also I have empty from rainbow melts and this one is in the scent Twisted Tree, and it's Twisted Peppermint and Christmas Tree. So I am trying to get, like, all my wintry Christmassy scents out of my stash because I just don't want to carry over any Christmas scents from this year into next year. I just really don't want to. Um, if I do have any left over that I don't really want to melt. I'll probably try to melt them for like a Christmas in July because I just don't want to hold on to them until December. Um, I can't keep on doing that to myself because I literally have wax from 2020 and it's 2023 and I can't do that. Um, I know plenty of people do and everything turns out fine and everything, but I just can't. So this scent was good. It was strong. I wouldn't repurchase it because it's not a favorite of mine, but it was a really good performer. And so if you like these kind of scents um, and you purchase from Rainbow Melts, then I would recommend it. Um, okay, and then stuff that I melted but didn't finish. So let me talk first about these two, which are going to be ones that I give away. So this first one is Super Tarts Prancer. The notes are mistletoe, red berries, pomegranate, and peppermint. This one performed well in my home. Um, I am not a big fan of it on cold at all. Warming, it actually wasn't bad. It actually was kind of enjoyable. My mom even was like, I really like this scent. Um, so that's nice. However, it's not a favorite of mine, so I wouldn't repurchase it and I just don't see the point in melting through these other four cubes, but I would recommend giving this one a try. Um, it's just not a favorite of mine, so I'm going to pass it on. And then also I have Rainbow Melt's Red Nose. This one is Tart Cranberry and Ginger Ale. Again, this one to me on cold, not a favorite. Actually, like, semi like repulsed by it on gold as awful as that sounds so I was mortified to melt this one 
but actually when I melted it, it was not bad. Um, it actually was like semi enjoyable. Um, something that I was like, oh, like I don't feel like sick from this scent or something like how I do on cold. However, again, not in my scent preferences. So like it's not a favorite of mine, so I'm not going to hold on to it. I'm not going to keep on melting it. Um, cause I do have other scents that I thoroughly enjoy that are favorites of mine and I just have too much wax in my stash right now to like warm scents that I'm not crazy about. So this one is another one that I'm decluttering. Again, if you like these kind of scents, it is a strong performer. It did great in my home. Um, and I would recommend it. Those are the two declutters. Everything else, um, is stuff that I'm keeping that I'm planning on melting through. So this one is Bath and Body Works Chocolate Lava Cake. I took it from a candle and made it like the rest of it into wax melts. This one is Scrumptious Chocolate Cake Gooey Cocoa Center Powdered Sugar Dusting. I melted two cubes of it in my bedroom. It's really good. Um, I really, oh, it's upside down. It's really good and I really enjoy this scent. So, um, Yes, happy to have that one. I melted Poolside Oasis from Yankee Candle. This is part of a centerpiece cup that I took out and gave the rest away. But I just took a small sample for myself because I love this scent. Um, but I also wanted someone else to be able to get to enjoy it. And I love melting this one, Poolside Oasis from Yankee Candle, in my bathroom. So excited to get to use the rest of that up eventually from l3 waxy wanders i have the scent sweet lavender white elephant exchange and white elephant exchange is powdered donuts vanilla wafers white cake and vanilla frosting and i melted a shape of this in my bedroom excited to finish up the other two shapes it's a really good um scent i'm not sure that i would repurchase it but i am enjoying it while i have it from Scentsy, I have the scent Hug in a Mug um, in a clamshell. Let me take it out of this bag. Um, here we go. Hug in a Mug. And this one, I have two cubes left. This is all the way back from December of 2020. So it's old wax, um, like a little over two years old. But it's still performing really well. Um, I love this scent, Hug in a Mug. I also have a bar that I bought in 2021. And then I also, um, I don't think I bought any bars of this scent in 2022, but I could be mistaken. But definitely when Scentsy does their, oh, I have a hair. When Scentsy does their clearance, I definitely will buy a couple of these bars. Um, just to make sure, you know, in case if they don't bring it back, that I have some stocked up for the future. Um, next up from Southbound Candle Co., I have the scent Oh Christmas Tree. This one is uh, pine, fresh lime, cardamom, and pepper with notes of scotch pine. And this one is so good. I love it. Um, I have enough to melt it downstairs in the open concept just one more time. Um, this scent is amazing and I would highly recommend it. I would definitely repurchase it next year. And then last but not least from Southbound Candle Co. I have the scent Holiday Cookies. This one is fresh from the oven sugar cookies with a slight hint of buttermint and sweet vanilla. This one is another one I absolutely love. I would highly recommend it. It's like peppermint sugar cookie from Bath and Body Works, except for without the soot and kind of up the ante on the peppermint. It's really, really good. I absolutely love it. And I have enough to melt it either in my bedroom or either in part of the downstairs one day. It just all depends on what I'm feeling like. But this scent is so good. And yeah, I would highly recommend it. And I'm definitely going to repurchase it next year because it is so good. Okay, 
that is everything that I have been melting. I also have been warming um, my hot cocoa and cream candles from Bath and Body Works as well, like burning them. But I don't have them up here to show you. So I'll just let you know I've been burning them, working on them, blending them with some things like hugging a mug, holiday cookies, white Christmas. So yeah, that's everything you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you next time. And as always, make sure you stay positive till then. Bye.